Hi, I'm Laurie of Laurie's Tommy Love and Foods, and today I'm sharing with you a little bit about my story and my journey and why I'm here sharing with you all about uh, true health and well-being today. Uh, back about 17 years ago, I became a personal trainer, and at that time, I realized I had extreme environmental sensitivities. Uh, anything I ate or smelled or got on my skin just knocked me out for days, really. And the only way I could get through it was with just a lot of uh, stubbornness and a lot of coffee and stimulants. And yeah, it was very difficult, very challenging. Um, once I realized what was going on with me, which was essentially, you know, huge environmental sensitivities and chronic fatigue to a certain extent, then I could start to put it right. I started working essentially with a nutritionist initially, understanding what really wasn't serving my body. And then I moved onwards with many different um, therapists, practitioners to get to the bottom of what was going on with me, getting better and better progressively. It took me 10 to 12 years to to really feel that I could confidently say I'd got over the majority of the issue. It took a long time. With that came a lot of understanding, um, a lot of research, and in the process, understanding about gut health and understanding the foods that were missing and therefore creating my own business from it. Uh, and to be honest, my illness, no matter how challenging it was, turned my life around because it got me onto a, a real distinct, authentic path. On that path, I studied a great deal. I uh, got qualifications as well. But ultimately, you know, I got profound knowledge and wisdom from just experiencing the path back to health so that I can share that with you. I won't go into too much about it at this stage because I like to keep things short, but I will perhaps touch on more as we go along. But just to say... Um, I know a lot of you are probably suffering um, to a great degree with your health and some of you are just suffering with nagging symptoms or wanting to increase your energy. No matter where we are on our path to health, we will always use the same foundations to bring health back into our life. No matter where you are on the spectrum, we need certain foundations of health in our life which keep us, which are you know, simply ways of being human, the things that human beings need to be human. We really need these foundations in our life, no matter what else we're putting on top. We would not build a house without solid foundations. The foundations are what keep everything else that we're doing on top of them strong. So we will come back to looking at, you know, diet, looking at hydration, looking at sleep, looking at, you know, thinking, your thoughts and mental habits, uh, looking at exercise and movement. And we would then look at also other aspects of your life, which will aid you implementing these lifestyle factors into your life. Because I'm sure the majority of you know really what you can do to bring health back into your life. But the question is, but why aren't we doing these things? And that's where the real gold is. And that's what I've learned along, the, along my journey is no matter how much knowledge we get, if we're not bring, actually implementing the knowledge through our daily actions, then that knowledge is wasted. And there's so many of us these days, we know what to do. There's so much information, we know what to do. Let's keep it simple, but let's understand how we can, what actions we need to bring in on a very simple level, very consistently, and perhaps why we're not taking those daily consistent actions, because there's some aspect of us which perhaps doesn't feel it's worth it, doesn't feel it's working, maybe it's not working, or maybe there's just an aspect of your life which we need to focus on to bring you more reason for introducing these life, lifestyle factors in on a daily basis. For example, I'll go back to the racing car analogy. If a racing car was just gonna be sat in the garage, then it wouldn't really care about what petrol you'd be putting in it or what tires it had, or even if the motor functioned, you know, cause it's just sat in the garage. Where it wants to be is racing, out on the track, being a race car. You can be whatever car you are. You are here to be a certain, you are here to be exactly who you are. And therefore you have your own fundamental needs but until you perhaps are experiencing a life 
that you want to be living, then perhaps what you put into your body and what you do to your body and how you treat yourself is not necessarily of high importance at the moment because you can get away with a certain level of existence. What I want to do is encourage you to a greater level of existence, which will then encourage you to a greater level of supporting that existence through a greater consistency and application of those daily lifestyle factors. All right, see you soon, bye.